Hey guys, Michael here. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down the second stimulus package. I know that a lot of you still haven't received your first stimulus package and it's frustrating because it's like, why are they talking about a second stimulus package when millions of people still haven't received their first check? Just get the first check out already. But it's true, there's a lot of news going around about a second stimulus package. And whether that's a $2,000 per month check or if it's a one-time $2,000 payment plus $1,000 every single month after that, there's just so much confusion and I feel like no one knows what is going on. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down exactly what is going on with this second stimulus package and try and eliminate any confusion that is out there. So let's just jump right into it. Before we get started, it says that 95% of you watching this video are not subscribed to my channel. So if you'd like to stay up to date on the stock market, on stimulus checks, on how to make money in general, well then please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when new videos come out. So anyways, let's jump right into it and let's talk about this second stimulus package. What is it? Is it a real thing? So first of all, there's no official second stimulus package. There's a lot of debates and people talking about stimulus packages and things that have been proposed in the House of Representatives, but there's no like official stimulus package that'll provide in a second round of checks. It's not a thing. So currently they're debating two different packages. The first is called the Emergency Money for the People Act. And this is the $2,000 per month stimulus check that you've probably heard about. And the second is called the Automatic Boost to Communities Act, which is ABC. And this is a one-time $2,000 payment with $1,000 per month every single month for 12 months after the coronavirus crisis is over. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down these two different packages, let you know what's going on, what's more likely to pass, which is what's going on in the House of Representatives and what you can expect to receive, hopefully, as a second stimulus package. So first, let's get into the Emergency Money for the People Act. This was proposed a little while ago by two representatives and it was co-sponsored by 17 other representatives. So this package has the most support behind it. And what this package is, is it is a $2,000 per month payment for every eligible American. So what this is, is if you are 16 years of age or older who makes less than $130,000 a year, will receive $2,000 per month. So that's for individuals. If you're a married couple and you make less than $260,000 a year, you will receive $4,000 per month. And for every child you have, you would get paid an additional $500 per child. So for example, if you're a married couple and you have three children, you'd be receiving $5,500 per month. So that would be $4,000 for the married couple and then $500 for each of the three children. So this Emergency Money for the People's Act is currently being debated. They proposed it to the House of Representatives. This doesn't mean it's going through and if it were to go through, it would have a long way before it would be actually signed into a law. It has to be passed by the House, then sent to the Senate, passed by the Senate, and then sent to the president. So this program addresses a number of loopholes that were in the previous CARES Act, the one that gave us the one-time $1,200 payment. And this has to do with who's eligible and who's not eligible. So under this Emergency Money for the People Act that's currently being proposed, if you are a student, so let's say in college, you are disabled, you are filed as a dependent, you are all eligible to receive payment. Also, you could be unemployed and still receive this money. And another thing that this act would address is how you get paid. Currently, we could see it's all a mess how they're paying this one-time $1,200 stimulus check. It's not going so well. They've only got half out in 30 days, so that's not good. So under this program, you could receive your payment, either direct deposit, a check in the mail, a direct express debit card, PayPal, Venmo, Zelle. They include a large number of payment methods, so we won't run into the same problem that we did the first time, which is no one's getting their check. About half the people have not received their stimulus check yet. So this program is designed to fix that problem with the, the banking issue and it also addresses the fact that a one-time $1,200 payment simply isn't enough. One-time $1,200 payment when people aren't working for months isn't going to do anything. It's not enough. So this program would address that by giving monthly payments and making it much easier for people to receive the funds from this program. And lastly, how long would this be going on for? So essentially, what the bill states is that it would be for as long as the employment to population ratio is under 60%. So that means the total number of people who are employed divided by how many people can be employed, the population. So as long as that number is less than 60%, they will continue to pay out these payments. So remember, this bill has just been proposed. It's not like the official second stimulus package. 
that's just been proposed in Congress, and now they're going to have to debate it, and then it'll have to be approved by the House, approved by the Senate, and approved by the President. So it would have a long way to go, and don't think that this is an official second stimulus package. So moving on, let's talk about the Automatic Boost to Communities Act. This was proposed more recently by two congresswomen and co-sponsored by 11 other representatives. And under this program, you would receive a prepaid debit card, a boost debit card that would have $2,000 loaded on it initially. And you would get $1,000 every single month after that for 12 months after the end of the COVID-19 crisis. So 12 months after the United States says that we are no longer in a state of emergency. So under this bill, everyone would receive the same payment. Everyone would receive this preloaded debit card with $2,000 with an additional $1,000 loaded every single month. So that means anyone who's a taxpayer, dependent, non-citizen, which also includes if you're undocumented, permanent resident, or even if you're a temporary resident and been here for more than three months. On top of this, you would not have to have a bank account, a permanent address, or a social security number. This would also be for people living in unincorporated territories and Americans living abroad. So basically, anyone with some sort of ties to the US would be receiving this preloaded debit card, it has $2,000 on it, and then you'd be getting $1,000 per month every single month after this. So for example, if you're a married couple, let's say you have three children, each of you, and your children, doesn't matter if they're one years old or 15 years old, each of them would be receiving this $2,000 preloaded debit card and every single person in your family would then also get money $1,000 every single month, each of you guys. So that means if you're a family of five, you'd get a $10,000 in prepaid cards, each of you get 2,000, and then every month after that, you'd each get $1,000. So you'd be getting $5,000 total every single month as that family. So under this program, how would you be getting the debit cards? Well, if you have an address, a permanent address, they'd be sending that directly in the mail. You could also pick it up in person or they'll be doing at-risk outreach to people who don't have any address at all, maybe people who are homeless. So this program is really, really extreme. It would give every single person the same amount, whether you're a baby who's six months old or if you're a 60 year old, you, you'd all be receiving the same card, the same amount. In addition to this, this bill proposes a digital wallet where the government could automatically send you the money to your digital wallet. Think of it like a cryptocurrency or a digital coin. So why would they do this? Why would they make a digital coin based on the US dollar? Why would they wanna do that? Well, they're trying to reduce the time it takes for the money to get to people. Right now with the stimulus checks, again, you see the problems, not everyone's getting it. Only about half the people in the US who are supposed to receive their stimulus checks have gotten them. So they're proposing this in order to try and speed up that process so then it can happen instantaneously where everyone receives their stimulus check, stimulus money at the same exact time. So what you guys need to know is that there is no official second stimulus check. There's a lot of talk going around about a second stimulus check, but as of now, there is no official stimulus check. The longer that we are in lockdown and social distancing and the longer people can't return to work, the more likely it'll be that a second stimulus check passes. But if we're to return to work sooner and states are starting to open up as they are, if things return to normal, it's not as likely that this second stimulus package will pass. And if it does, it'll be very modified from either of these versions that we're seeing right now. But anyway, so just keep that in mind. So if you're wondering and you're hearing about a second stimulus check, these are the two that are going around. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and it cleared up any confusion around a second stimulus package that you may have. If you have any additional questions about it, please be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer as many as I can. With that being said, don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you sign up for the Webull investing app using the link below. One free stock when you sign up for Robinhood. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.